All right, wanted to make a video showing how I've been doing laundry at the tiny house. Um, so right here, this is a portable Black & Decker washing machine. I got this on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid like 160 or 180 for it. Um, but I, I just looked and the price has gone up. I think it's like $240 now. Um, I just spent today getting it in its permanent location. It's kind of mounted my bath in my bathroom, but my bathroom is elevated, all the plumbing's underneath uh, to stop it from freezing. So I kind of cut a hole and set it in there. Um, but I'll kind of give you a view. It's kind of... So I did use this washing machine all last summer. Um, I just kind of had it temporarily uh, hooked up to the sink. It does come, the hookup is right here. Um, and that's just a normal standard uh, washing machine hookup. This is the hose that it came with. Um, so it's the same on both ends. Um, I just installed this. This is just a standard cold washing machine um, connection with valve on it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today, get it hooked up permanently. Um, but it also comes with this quick disconnect. All right, so just to kind of show how that worked, uh, the little screen that comes on your um, on your sink there, you can unscrew that. I'm going to leave it on because I'm not actually hooking it up this way. But then this part screws onto there, and then you've got your hose and a quick disconnect here. You'll be able to just quickly connect it to a sink, and then this end would go to the washing machine. Um, this part did actually leak, which wasn't a huge deal because it's over the sink, um, but it's a waste of water and it's way nicer to just have it permanently hooked up. I also had the washing machine sitting in front of my kitchen sink, so I couldn't really use the sink at all while I was doing laundry. Um, so having it permanently mounted would be a lot nicer. All right, so I just got one end hooked up uh, to the washing machine. Um, both ends are just like this. Uh, they've got that rubber washer in there, so that will keep it watertight. You don't need any uh, Teflon tape or anything. So I'll go ahead and get that hooked up to there, open up that valve, and hopefully there won't be any leaks. And then we can test it and do a little load of laundry. All right, just underneath the bathroom, this is where all my plumbing is. Um, so that's the washing machine coming down. And here's the drain line from it. I've just got it running down through the floor, and then it goes in. Um, it also comes with this plastic piece that the tube fits through. Um, so if you want to hook it over a sink or even like a standard um, washing machine drain in a house, it also comes with this. But I've just got it going straight through the floor. All right, so this is kind of where the washing machine is tucked in there. Um, it does just come with the standard plug. Um, I will be running another plug through the wall so I can actually plug it in down there. But just for now, I've just got an extension cord coming out of the kitchen. Um, so we'll get a load of laundry going and see if we can see how much power it uses. Um, this is an off-grid system, so this is getting ran on solar power. Um, we've got four 100 watt panels and a 700 watt inverter. So all of that runs this just fine. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. There's a few different options. You can do, I don't know if you can see that, Heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, or soak. Um, I'm just going to go for normal. So it's going to be 41 minutes. Actually, I might go rapid. We've got 19 minutes. Um, you can also change the load size. Um, so three is large, two is medium, one is small. So you can go through there. Um, this is just a small load. I've just got a pair of pants, a couple shirts, a couple pairs of underwear. Um, about it's not much in there um, so we'll go ahead start that and then once it starts filling I'll get a little video of that and once it starts going we'll see how much power it's drawn all right you can see it's starting to fill in there um, a little bit of noise is actually coming from the pump it's underneath the floor not so much the washing machine but once it starts spinning I'll over and check and see if we can see how much power it's using. 
All right, so I had the washing machine running and I guess I didn't realize that you needed to have the drain higher than the washing machine or else it just continues to drain out. Um, so, so you don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure your drain goes up before it goes back down again. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna add in a drain. It goes through that same hole and then we'll get it started again. All right, so I think I got the, the new drain hooked up. So now we're filling again. Uh, what was happening before is it was just draining straight out. So now it should fill up to the correct water level and then it'll be pumped up and out instead of just gravity feeding out. All right, we're up to the right water level. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's starting to spin, do its thing. Um, go over and see how much power it's using doing that. All right, we're getting pumped out now. Seems to be working. I'll go check outside, make sure we're not leaking anywhere, but um, seems to be working now. All right, so the load is done. Um, this is how I dry it, just a clothesline. Um, all in all, I'm really happy with the with the washing machine. Hardly uses any power. Uh, I looked on Amazon, said it uses 300 watts. Um, the most I saw it go up to when I was watching it was nine amps um, for a 12 volt system. I think it also uses about 10 to 20 gallons of water, depending on how you set it up. Yeah, that's how I do laundry.